Kevin at RavyWeeWeeBlogs.com. Now I'm here with Ginta Biku. This is so ex You know, Ginta, I have to tell you, what was so exciting is when we discovered that you were going to be in Ding D Eshing Dung Show. Did I say Ein Shining Show? The Eshing Show? Oh my god, my German is so bad. We loved it because we run a contest on Eurovision, on Wibby Blogs called Eurovision's Next Top Model. Are you <laughs> serious? Oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> so it was exciting to have potentially a contestant in Kiev who has done beauty pageants, has actually modeled. This is you. Yeah, I started with that. Like when I was 12, I started in a, in a model agency in Milan. And uh, I have a lot of fashion experience and at some stage when I was 18, I said, okay, enough. I want to tell something. So that's how I started to uh, into music. So uh, I wanted to discover the, the parts behind music production. So I became first a sound engineer and then a singer. And it happened by chance. I was telling also my friend today that uh, I didn't expect to be a singer at the beginning. I just, I was used to write songs and... I was looking for somebody to sing my songs and one of the producers in the studio, he said, hey, why don't you sing your own stuff? I said, wow, uh, maybe you're right, like I could try, I could give it a try and that's how I started, that's how I published my first album uh, and participated like to different contests also in Europe with my music and finally we are here right now, so it's a big, uh, big dream really coming true. But of course music has always been a very strong part of your identity, in your bio Apparently, you started writing songs at the age of four. Most yes. children can't even speak then. <laughs> Neither did I, but it was a trick. It was a trick because I was uh, going to acting classes, like little theater mm -hmm. things, for, for kids at a Montessori school. And I had such a hard time memorizing all these like rhymes. I said, oh my goodness, like how, how am I going to do this? And I had a little keyboard in my, at home. I said, okay, let's put the rhymes into music. And that's how the rhymes, the poem, became a song. And then I changed the lyrics, and then it became an official song. And I was only four. It was talk like I, I used to talk about like animals most of all because I'm a big animal fan. Are like, you? I love animals. Yeah. Are you? With my oh. girlfriend, we have a foundation. Of, uh, we rescue animals. Yeah, in Switzerland. So oh, wow. she's taking care of that directly, and I'm just an angel for this project, and uh, I just help her as much as I can. Mm. Wow, and music has taken you even as far as Kazakhstan, as far as Lithuania, oh, yeah. as far as Russia, China. China, um, Korea. Korea. Yeah. <laughs> we just export the Swiss talent in the world. <laughs> Swiss music in the world, yeah. That's and, what I do. And what has been the reception when you've gone to some... I mean, I'm curious about Kazakhstan. because Kazakhstan is an amazing, it's an amazing crowd because it's so different. And I learned Russian on the road because I was touring so much in Russia. Uh, I had so many gigs there that if you want to survive in Siberia, you got to speak Russian. Like, you have to know Russian language, otherwise you're just starved. So I said, okay. I was there for eight months and I learned Russian and in Kazakhstan uh, it was an ex Soviet Union country. So I just found that kind of vibe and, you know, when you learn a language, you don't learn only the words. You learn the culture of that, uh, of that ethnicity. So uh, I just felt uh, I felt great. They they are totally different. They love to have fun. Like you can go to parties at seven p.m. in the uh, like in the evening, and everybody's dancing on tables already. So they just <laughs> don't wait. They go straight to the point, and that's uh, that's what I love. <laughs> and being a part of this global culture, I mean, even you yourself, you pull from different identities, and you live in the Italian part of Switzerland, but yet. Although your English is perfect, you're singing a song in, 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 in French. Like, wh how do you then decide to map out what your language of choice is for your songs? I don't, I feel a citizen of the world and uh, I feel home everywhere I go. And uh, if I'm in the States, I dream in English. If I'm in France, I start dreaming and talking and, and thinking in English. They say the trick is, which language do you count? Yeah. So, oh, really? Uh, numbers. So I like I switched continuously. So uh, for me, uh, the world is my uh, is my um, habitat. It's my yeah, it's my habitat. It's my home. So I feel uh, I feel at ease everywhere I go. 
So um, I love traveling and love exploring. And one of my dreams actually is uh, to travel every single country of the, on this world, on this planet. How, how well are you doing so far? Oh, great. I think <laughs> I traveled like 20 countries last year. So uh, for music. So and I you... love combining work and, and, uh, and just travel. Speaking of travel, you just flew back from the United Kingdom where yes. apparently something very special you were doing out there. Why don't you tell yes. our readers what that is? Yes, so um, in the United Kingdom, in London, we are working with a team of Expecta. Uh, we have great choreographers and backing vocalists and dancers and uh, really the team is beautiful and uh, I'm trying to integrate in our music and in our shows augmented reality features. What augmented reality is, you will see tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but think of a show that is enhanced. Think of a show that is 10x. A show that gives you a lot of emotion, much more emotion than you had before. And uh, this is what technology uh, is, it's technology's power nowadays. So uh, what we want to do is to, uh, to bring entertainment to a new level of experience, not only for the artists, but especially for the public. Because as an artist, I sing for the public. I want to give back an emotion. I want to give back their investment of time and money in going to see shows. So I want to give them a, a, a takeaway from every single concert they will ever will see. And uh, we are just show, showcasing what will the future of music will look like in a very close future. Wow. And I suppose when you've only got three minutes to make your mark and 40 plus other countries, are only having three minutes. Yes. Augmented reality will give you a competitive edge as well. Hopefully, yes, because uh, talking about your vision, audio content is the most important part of it because we, we're talking about music, but visual part has an importance as well. It is so vision. What, you wrote vision. I mean, wrote, exactly. <laughs> so what we are creating, we are creating an audio visual show that is very much experiential, and. Uh, the effect that you have is really that of a maze of wow, of goosebumps. And uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is what will happen uh, tomorrow and hopefully in Kia. You know, looking at you, you are actually a picture of pure beauty. But I think I've discovered your secret. Your secret well, in, you a video, yeah, in a video called Comment t'es deux à deux? Yes. Bathing in Egyptian milk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know milk. it all. Yeah, I would say more more Swiss milk than Egyptian. <laughs> but that was the Cleopatra feature. It's uh, that was the first video of my first single. How, how and, difficult was that to do? You know what was funny? I had my mom on stage, and she's always with me because she gives me a lot of like uh, confidence, and uh, I just love having her around because I don't happen to meet her so much because I travel all over the world all the time. So uh, she was there and said, okay, go under and don't breathe. And I, I couldn't hold my breath because I was laughing. And like, you know, you see all the like little bubbles and she was like, oh, the milk is boiling. <laughs> it was like, it was the most hilarious like moment in the, in the video shoot. We shot that video between the Sahara, the desert, Iceland in December, minus 30, and I fell in the ocean, and Lithuania. So three countries were involved in the production of this video, and uh, yeah, so uh, it, it, it happened. It looks really expensive and just very glamorous and just, uh, wow. Thank you, thank you. It's, um, I think that the song it represented it, like the lyrics, I tried to represent what the lyrics mean. Yeah. Oh my god, are you a fan of Eurovision? I am a big fan of Eurovision and I remember myself as a kid, we do the Eurovision nights at home. Oh yeah. With all the family, all the friends and the flags and we vote, we do like whatever because it's so much fun. It's a family event. But you won't be there if you actually get the ticket to Kiev this year. Well, you know, <laughs> you know what, I prefer to be on stage. Yeah. I will have the chance to watch it again after. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, it would be a great birthday present because my birthday is just right after the final of Eurovision in Kiev. So it oh, would be yes. amazing. You know, I, I started this experience with a with a, a goal in mind, with the end in my mind, and uh, it's about participating. And uh, for me, it's also about winning because I want to bring back Eurovision where where it all started in Lugano, sixty one years ago, in my hometown. 
Wow. Yeah. It all started in Cursal, in a casino in Lugano. But how do you feel about the contest in general? So, like, Switzerland, generally. I mean, I know Lissacia won it way back. But, mm -hmm. you know, Celine Dion again won in 88. Mm -hmm. It's a tough ticket because Swiss entries don't generally don't do well. I know. And given the fact that the world is your oyster and you, you could... You, <laughs> and I want it all. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but also, also you could... In terms of choosing options, you could have, let's say, represented Andorra, make a case to the Andorran or San Marino. They asked me San Marino last year. Oh! Yes, they did ask me to participate, but I said I prefer to run this contest for my country. Yeah. That's interesting. But why that? Because it's obviously very tough in Switzerland. I mean, Swiss, Swiss, Swiss entries struggle, generally. They struggle a little bit, but I think that with the right ingredients, uh, with the right show, with the right visuals, I think we can make it. Well, I look forward to seeing your yes, augmented me too. Grip. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> so many readers on Wooey Blogs love you. Do you have a message for them? Hi, Wooey Blog readers. Just watch your vision and be inspired because we are sharing powerful ideas.